Revelation 3513. From the 14th of August 1945. Last phase before the end. Mankind has now entered a phase of development that is extremely significant because it precedes the final end according to God's purpose from eternity. Complete spiritual blindness characterizes the last time before the end. People are completely unaware of their purpose of earthly life and their task, they have no spiritual connection whatsoever, they are distant from God due to their lack of love and their completely wrong thinking. Their concern is for the world, for the attainment of earthly goods, and spiritual life is completely disregarded. Hence, it is not a time of upward development but a standstill has occurred which turns into a regression of the spiritual substance, which is embodied as a human being on earth in this last time. In a way, the earth has become obsolete as a station of development for the spiritual substance, and this is a state which cannot last long because, according to God's eternal love and wisdom, only constant further development should take place and he therefore creates new possibilities again which guarantee this further development. It is a time of greatest spiritual blindness which can also hardly be remedied because the human beings will resist itself if light is brought to it. For in the darkness in which they dwell willow the wisps flash up towards which people strive. It is the world with its splendor which they long for and which fully captivates their thinking. By the spiritual standstill, by the decline of all spiritual development, people will recognize how near the end is, provided they are connected to God and observe world events with a spiritual eye. They will know that the coming of the Lord is not far away. But they will have to endure a hard time of struggle beforehand, for it is necessary to achieve a separation of spirits. The wheat must be separated from the chaff, and those who have not yet completely made up their minds must realize where their will is heading. The final battle must be fought, and it will be extremely hard. But those who carry God in their hearts will emerge victorious for God is constantly close to them, he himself guides them through this battle. There are only a few people but these stand in the light, they are knowledgeable and also draw the strength from the knowledge for final resistance against the enemy of their souls. And thus the light fights against the darkness. When this battle will take place openly, then the coming of the Lord is to be expected daily for the adversity will be great for those who are faithful to God, and in the greatest adversity he will appear as saviour and fetch them home into his kingdom. And the earth in its present form has fulfilled its destiny. It will be destroyed by God's will in its outer form and completely transformed in order to be able to function again as a station of education of the spiritual according to God's wise plan. The people of the present time are already in this last phase of development, and thus the end is not far off. Yet God's infinite love and patience still forgives, he still gives people every conceivable opportunity to emerge from the darkness into the light of his love. Yet the end will inevitably come, for people do not respect his love and care, for they are further away from God than ever. Yet anyone who joins him can expect the end without worry. He will not perish, for God will protect his soul and also take care of his physical body, as it serves his soul best. Amen.